Hey gang, Scott Davenport here, and I wanna show you five cool things that are in On One Photo Raw 2020. The beta came out very recently. Got it loaded on my laptop here, so we're gonna use that for our videos today. And the first one is AI Match. Now, I did a separate video on AI Match. It's this new button in the develop area. It'll do a quick automatic setting for your photo, and you can dial in the exact strength that you want on your photo using this little auto slider. Go check out the other video. I'll put a link to it below where you'll see that in more detail and more action and see how quickly you can get a photo styled and ready to go. Now, speaking about sliders that uh, control the strength of a look, another cool feature we have in Browse is a fade slider on the presets. As with previous releases, we have a presets browser right in the Browse module, but now we have a fade slider. So you can pick any one of these looks and you can control just how strong or how subtle you want that preset to apply to your overall scene. This gives you even more control in Browse, less popping back and forth between modules, which means faster editing, more time with the camera, less time with the computer. Another new thing in Browse is date-based browsing. When you have your cataloged folders, now on one is reading all of the capture dates from that and building this date view in the left-hand panel. So you can go down to any year and you quickly jump to those photos you know, down to months and even days if that's what you're interested in. So you can go directly to any photo taken on any date right down to the moment that you've captured it very quickly in Browse. A new filter added in Photo Raw 2020 in the effects module is a channel mixer. Now channel mixer lets you really combine and concoct any type of color toning you want with some really cool results. So I just have a few here where changed my jacket, made that a little bit brighter. I can change the way that the foliage looks. And if I really wanted to change my jacket entirely, I can change the color that I'm wearing, all with the channel mixer. You have controls over the red, the green, and the blue output channel. And to dial those in any way that you want. Now also, if you are an infrared shooter, this is a tool you want to have because infrared photos, you often need to do that blue red channel swap with channel mixer you can do that with your color ir photos you get unnatural looking skies they're orange and amber and, and you know foliage is looking with a bluish tint or the channel mixer you've got this option for ir swap right here one of the first styles and then you get this more natural looking blue tone in the sky and you can finish off your photo with other stylistic choices anything that you want to add to let your creative vision finally come through so the channel mixer is a really nice add to Photo Raw 2020 for the infrared crowd out there. You've got everything you need right in one tool. And the last feature I want to show you today is certainly not the least. It's a full-blown print module. So we have a, now a print module down here. Loading that up, we have complete control over how you want things to be printed. You can choose, obviously, your printer, your paper. But, you know, you have how many copies do you want? What's the layout going to be? If you have multiple photos you want to print contact sheets for, you can do all of that here in the print module. You know, for this one, I'd probably want to uh, do a more traditional 8x10, and that looks nice, borderless, that'll come out beautiful. You've got all the choices here for your color profiles. If you've done any type of paper profiling, you've got access to all that. You can add watermarking, you can add your output sharpening. It's a really uh, fundamentally redesigned print experience in Photo Raw 2020. Those are a few of the things that I've discovered in working with the Photo Raw 2020 beta. If you got a favorite feature, drop it in the comments below. Tell us uh, what you like about it, what's, uh, what's got you excited about it. And I hope you're trying out the beta. Give it a shot. If it's uh, already part of your workflow, I think you really like the new update. And if you're looking to try something else out, add something into your photographic workflow, check out the beta. It's free to try out. You get 30 days with it. And I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, let me know. Comments below. And until next time, my name is Scott Davenport. Happy shooting.